Hey YouTubers! Been a, it seems like ages since we've recorded anything and it has been because we recorded a lot of the Peak District quite some time ago and since then we have been away. Uh, we took Millie away. Jess went camping again mm -hmm. in a bigger tent this time. Yeah and it was much more successful because I was in charge and I had beds and I had carpet and I had a cooker and it worked really well. So top tip. And uh, who put the tent up? I helped. Ah uh, yeah. These, I'm all independent. I put, to be honest, it was a nightmare to put the tent up. It was a complicated tent to put up, I think. But uh, yeah, the so person who said, market for an air tent. I'm a, yeah, so if anybody wants to send us an air tent to review, just wants an air tent because our friend had an air tent and they are quite impressive. For someone I didn't think I'd like air tents, the fact that you just pumped the thing up and it went straight up. And having spent nearly three hours to put your tent up <laughs> and get it all sorted and tied out properly, and it's still kind of leaked there, there was still the bed was still touching the side it was a, a bit of a nightmare that's why I like a motorhome pulled in plugged in ready to go me and Melody were sorted and then I spent three hours setting her tent up so she could have a nice comfortable night but the boys had a brilliant time kids loved it again it was a great couple of days like we didn't record anything because it was with family and friends but it was again it, it's, it's a great thing about getting out and about didn't cost us hardly any money for, for a couple of days away and we had a great time, didn't we? We had the fire pits, we had marshmallows around the fire, 11 kids, five adults, and it That's was good. brilliant. So you don't need a motorhome to have a good time, even camping. So and again, you know, you borrowed the tent, you borrowed some of the equipment, and we got ourselves away. And of course I stayed in Millie with my daughter and had a great time. <laughs> and uh, so we didn't record on that or any of that, uh, unfortunately. We did go to the same campsite we've been to several times, so it wasn't any point in doing a review of the campsite. Looking for still do recommend it. Yes, and that's the is dairy it? farm in uh near Bram Bambury. Bambury, isn't it? yes. Caldry or the old dairy farm. There's a video of the review of the campsite further down. Is worth just double checking and phoning. Uh, we were there and unfortunately the bouncy castle was broken. So slightly kind of disheartened, but the park's still there. And we talked to the owner and he was saying that it's broken and he's struggling to get it fixed because the man who fixes it had COVID. So, but we still had a good time. And they were really accommodating, weren't they? Very friendly staff. Uh, they, because it was quite quiet, they weren't going to even do any open the food. And then we needed, we asked, could they turn the ovens on and stuff like that? And they said, yeah, not a problem. There was enough of us for them to justify. And then eventually more and more people asked about the food. So they ended up cooking and opening the kitchen up again. So it's not always open. Not everything's open during the week. So it is worth just double checking if you are going to the dairy farm. Uh, what we showed you on the video was at the weekend. Looking forward, we are going to be in the YouTube uh, area at the Overlander show in September. So come and say hello to me and Jess. Come and grab a sticker if we've got any left. So if you do want a sticker, get in soon because we don't have that many and I'm too tired to buy any more yet. <laughs> See, just having a go at me. And looking forward, so once we get back from that, one of our plans is to do some work in Millie. I mean, and it's it, going to be exciting. It is. We were always planning to do a lot of work in Millie, but the problem is we don't have a huge amount of time to do it. Uh, with childcare, parenting, work, etc. We only really have every other weekend. And what we've done most of summer is got away in her. Uh, so we've not had much time to put any TLC into her, so which is good because it was literally as I bought her, bought her, put some money into the like the the mechanics of the vehicle, but we've had loads of good trips in her and have used her during the winter months because I don't have a diesel heater. So if anybody wants to donate a diesel heater for me, if anybody's watching wants a review, wants some free gear, uh, we're going to do some decorating. Jess really pretty things. is going to learn how to use a sewing machine, which might be interesting to record. <laughs> and she's going to do all the cushions, and then we're going to do the curtains, and then I'm going to paint the inside. So if you've got any experiences of renovating, painting, making cushions, or anything like that, then please comment. If you've got any videos on it, please send us the links. It'll and be useful. If anybody knows of an alternative to the French chic paint which is quite expensive there yeah. is a Wilco one and a home base one if anybody's used it and knows which one it is worth using that is something we need to know yeah, a lot of the recommendations in the in the in the Facebook groups always talk about this French paint, and they clearly don't realise a how tight I am, 
and B, we're doing it on a very small budget. So I don't particularly want to spend a fortune, but also I want good quality. So is there anything out there that is slightly cheaper than the French paint that will do the same job? And, you know, it'll be some interesting videos. I'm learning as I go. So if you do enjoy watching me trying to do learn DIY, uh, we're going to strip our all pretty much out. I'm going to get round to finally fixing the water tank, or at least looking at the water tank, because we've just not bothered. We've gone away with her every other weekend. So it's going to be entertaining and it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. And it'll be me and Jess working together in a very small space. I'm sure we will not try to kill each other because Jess is very laid back and patient. <laughs> and I'm not a wind up merchant at all. So at no point will I be getting her angry. So it'll be good. So again, Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, then subscribe. Uh, we've got some good videos coming up, uh, hopefully in the future. And also message before a uh, message below if you're really that bothered about every what time we upload the videos. Because there's a lot of people say that you've got to upload your video at the same time every single week. So how many of you are sat there at six o'clock on a Sunday waiting for me to upload a video? I don't believe none of you are. You probably all got much better things to do. Uh, but we'll try to get a weekly video out over the winter months because we'll kind of probably get quite a bit of work out of her. Uh, got lots of plans. How much we'll actually get done <laughs> and do is a different matter. So, oh, and also did mention the fact that we hit 950 subscribers. So if you are one of them 950 subscribers, then thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, well, then why not? Uh, it does help the channel. It does help me. It does make me feel a lot more happier. It makes Jess very happy because I'm happy. She actually <laughs> looks at the subscribers more than I do at the moment. Um, and it does help. And also, we're so close to that thousand. That magic number of a thousand. You know, yes, come on. Tell your friends. And hopefully, uh, we'll catch you at the Overlander show. Make sure you come and say hello. Leave the answer, I've just... Say bye, Jess. Bye, Jess. Hmm. Catch you later. <laughs>